Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with the RTZF20 Power DSKU Fixture. In this presentation, we'll explain how to use the Rodian Schwartz ZF20 Power DSKU Fixture in order to remove SKU between voltage and current probes for improved power measurement accuracy. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of SKU between oscilloscope channels. We'll provide a short review on the next slide, but please see the presentation Understanding Oscilloscope's DSKU if you'd like a slightly more in-depth explanation of SKU and the DSKUing process. Let's start with a brief review. Different propagation times on different oscilloscope channels can create timing offsets between displayed waveforms, and this timing offset is commonly referred to as SKU. This variation in propagation time is primarily caused by probes with different lead lengths. The skew between oscilloscope channels is often on the order of nanoseconds or less, but even very small amounts of skew can still have a non-negligible effect on measurement results. This is particularly true in the case of power measurements, where the skew between the voltage and current probes can lead to inaccurate power calculations. The Rodian Schwartz RTZF20 power DSKU fixture can be used to correct for the time delay or skew between voltage and current probes when making power measurements. This fixture generates pulses with different widths, intervals, and rise-fall times, and these signals can be tapped by both voltage and current probes at different connection points on the fixture. Deskewing is then performed by adjusting the delay time, or the amount of skew, on one or more measurement channels until the voltage and current pulses overlap on the oscilloscope display. Let's start with a brief overview of the RTZF20. Power is provided over a USB connection, and a small green LED will illuminate when the board is powered on. The ZF20 has two current probe cutout sections, one for smaller current probes and one for larger current probes. Both loop sections have arrows indicating the direction of current. Each section also has both pin heads for active probes and clamp-on connectors for standard hooked passive probes. Note that for both the pin and hook type connectors, the alignment signal is marked with a rising slope signal, and ground is indicated by a standard ground type symbol. When deskewing multiple voltage probes, all probes should be attached to the same loop section. For example, if we wanted to deskew two or more voltage probes, they should all be connected to only one section. And, of course, the ground clip or lead on passive probes should also be connected. Active probes can be connected to the pin headers as shown, but in some cases, active probes may require a special pin adapter. Please see the probe documentation for details on specific active probe requirements. When deskewing a combination of voltage and current probes, these must all be attached to the same loop section as shown here. The current probe should be clamped through the opening such that the arrows indicating current direction are the same on the probe and on the fixture. Each loop section has only a single current probe attachment point, so in order to skew multiple current probes, a voltage probe should be used as a reference. Each current probe is then individually aligned with the reference voltage probe. Let's look at an example of alignment or deskew adjustment. We've attached a voltage probe and current probe to the ZF20 DSKU fixture. We've adjusted the vertical and horizontal scaling appropriately, and we're triggering on the rising edge of the voltage waveform. Here we see that the voltage waveform, in yellow, and the current waveform, in green, do not overlap. We then go into the current probe menu and adjust the amount of skew, in this case by 80 nanoseconds, until the two waveforms overlap. The voltage and current probes are now properly de-skewed. Although cursors could be placed on the unadjusted waveforms to determine the required level of de-skew, this can also be done by manually increasing or decreasing the amount of skew until the waveforms overlap. Let's end with a brief summary. Different propagation times on different oscilloscope channels can lead to time offsets between measured signals. These offsets can limit measurement accuracy, and this is particularly true when using a combination of voltage and current probes for making power measurements. 
the RTZF20 power DSKU fixture can be used to remove SKU between multiple voltage and or current probes by generating a signal with time aligned voltage and current. To use the fixture, both the voltage and current probes are attached to one of the two loop sections, and then the time offset or SKU between the displayed waveforms is adjusted on the oscilloscope until the waveforms overlap on screen. This concludes our presentation, getting started with the RTZF20 power DSKU fixture. If you'd like to learn more about SKU, oscilloscopes, or Rodian Short's test and measurement solutions, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.